everybody it's Pam with silver and sparkles and I am excited to show you my design team project for Sylvia Las Mimas Amores so um, I made a big journal <laughs> and this um, one uses a variety of the four different kits that she has out this month here in June um, I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys like it too. It has seven signatures and I actually did just a quick tutorial, um, kind of reviewing that three hole pamphlet stitch, which I know many people are familiar with, but kind of showing you when you have this many signatures, um, you know, how to do that. The process is basically the same, but Anyway, I'm going to be posting that one here soon, but um, I thought I would first just show you the finished journal and what it looks like. So, um, first of all, I did use a variety um, of pages um, from four different kits. It's the, um, the I think you pronounce it, Decreto Ballet, and so a ballet-themed kind of kit, and you'll see different pages um, through here. Some of the, the larger journal pages um, are definitely from that kit. There's also one called Documents of Yesteryear um, that have some really fun aging and images, and um, I just really liked them. I liked all of them. And then she had a, she has a kit, it's called This and That, and it just has a variety of images, um, postcards, different things that you can use. And then the last one is one called Square Ephemera. And I know I'm not really showing you guys anything because I'm just yapping and flipping around. But the Square Ephemera one... I had one of the little squares. Well, here's some of them that I actually punched into circles. <laughs> so I took the square ephemera and punched them into circles. But as, as we go through, um, I have some of those intact. I also used a bunch of them to make tabs um, for some of the pages. There's one. That's the square ephemera. Um, so mixed in with pages from um, the kits are um, some really pretty coffee dyed paper that I've made, some vintage book pages. I love that image. Um, I used some papers. Um, these are from the Janet Marsh Diary and just, um, I did quite a few different flip outs and folds in this one because I just, I guess I'm envisioning um, that someone will actually use this journal and add their own writing and memories and mementos. So I wanted to leave lots of space for that. Um, there's one of those square ephemera pieces. This is from a vintage book of a lineage, which is really interesting. Um, some ledger paper. Let's see. Aren't these um, pretty? Let's see. And then I used um, quite a few of the images um, to make some journaling cards um, and some pieces just so whoever has this journal will have some things to explore and hopefully um, look at and inspire them. So again, but lots of space for collaging, artwork, journaling, that type of thing. Um, and again, with seven signatures, and I don't even remember how many pages it is now. We can kind of count each of the signatures. Each signature has the same number. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I loved the envelopes. Eight, nine. 10, so 20 pages in each signature. Let's count on our fingers. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 140 pages. So it's a big journal. Um, this was a, I did this corner pocket a little different. I actually wrapped it around. So there's a top tuck spot on this page and this page. Um, I think these were meant to maybe be, um, to to wrap ribbon or floss or something on. And I, I'm i going to look at that and maybe make 
make a few more things out of those. They're very, they're very pretty and I'm interested in playing with that a little bit more. I am going to be out of town quite a bit the month of June and I wanted to go ahead and get this, um, the, the pictures made. There's another flip. Isn't that pretty? Um, and get the videos made and get good pictures so that I can post and all of that. So, um, I still have some ideas though. These papers have so many options and possibilities. Um, like I said, I tried to put in multiple flips, pockets. It's an Edith Holden page. Um, again, a journaling card. If you can see the little brads. Um, let's see what else is in here. Just lots of fun things. So I hope you guys um, like it and it will inspire you maybe to make one of these larger journals. Sometimes they're a little intimidating. And this one, I think some people would say this one's a little plain. Um, I haven't done a ton of lace or, um, you know, not every page has a pocket or a belly band or a tuck spot. But like I said, I just kind of had a vision for this one um, with, with all these pretty papers and colors and textures that, um, oh, they're just so pretty to me, that it would just be inspiring, hopefully, for someone um, to, to really get into junk journaling and enjoy it. So let me just keep going, show you a few more pages. It takes a while to, to flip through over a hundred and, well, it's like 140 pages. It takes a while. <laughs> so let's see what else we've got. While I'm flipping, I'll tell you, I'm also eagerly awaiting the sound of my daughter, Sarah's car to pull into the driveway. Um, she's coming home um, before we're heading out on this road trip and then she'll be on the road for about a month. Um, but she's coming home from college. So, you know, this is the day she left her, where, where she's been living for the last um, several years while she finished her bachelor's degree. Um, her first year was during COVID. And so she was here in Richmond. And our last three years, she got to be in Baltimore and has just thrived and had such a wonderful time. So it's a big day, you know, to move out of your apartment, say goodbye to your friends and um, kind of leave that, that stage of life behind. So um, I'm eager to see her, give her a hug, talk to her. And like I said, we're gonna have a fun week ahead of us. So, all right, it was a great time to make a video, keep mom distracted while she's driving <laughs> and not worrying, hopefully. So I hope you like this. I hope you will check out Sylvia's um, social media accounts and her Etsy shop and take a look. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I hope everybody's having a great day.